<laughs> there you go. No, I didn't. This, is, got this week's subject, uh, like you said, this week's subject is. I was sketching it yesterday, and all of a sudden, I thought I was beavering away trying to get it right, and I kept finding new bits, <laughs> bits that I hadn't spot, spotted. You know, I'm not doing his hands. <laughs> Woody decided. <laughs> His face oh. looks really familiar. Yeah, I thought I thought that. Did you? Yeah. A bit of Boris about him, isn't it? No, I wasn't thinking Boris. Um, <laughs> I try not to think about him at all. No, well, quite, yeah. yeah. No, his face looks very familiar. Yeah, mm. it's got that sort of warmness about him. Mm. It reminds me of Francis Coleman's husband. It's a dead ringer for him, so maybe, maybe he doubles up and as a beef eater <laughs> every now and then. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Can you see the the warp on that the bend at the top there? Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll show you in a minute. That's s stretching your paper, and it <laughs> the whole board's gone whoosh. <laughs> 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 I couldn't believe it. No, it was that fibre board. It wasn't wood, but, but yesterday I was there. And I thought, one of the things I, I saw that somebody was using pencil to put more detail in the sketch. So I thought, oh, that sounds a good idea. So I started, <laughs> started, so I kept going, brushing in all the, the dark bits. Don't eat your breakfast. But um, yeah, you can see, look, there's a sketch there. I started with, and I'd missed off his badge thing for a star of, and the flower, the oh. green on the poppy. So it wasn't until I got here, I suddenly thought, oh, crikey. I kept, I don't know, I gave up and I kept, keep finding new bits. It's not good. <laughs> I've already decided this one didn't warrant a canvas. It's going on paper. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a go, eh? Shall we have a go? Yeah, yeah oh, I'm tied up in the wires. Oh, hey. hello, Dyson. <coughs> Set everything up and get going. Mm -hmm. We are recording. Ah, oh, right. Big breath. <laughs> <laughs> Take your gloves off. Why not? I didn't. That sounded noisy. <laughs> Hope it wasn't me. There's all loads of decisions. It's a bit dark out here, a bit overcast. It is, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, look at this. I mean, I'll put it on its end if I can. Look oh, at that. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> it wasn't until yesterday I started sketching it. And uh, of course, sketching on a, it won't even stay level on there. Just trying to sketch, trying to sketch it in uh, funny angles. It's really weird. I mean, where do you put your lines? <laughs> you know, which line do you, because the line's doing that, isn't it? Oh, but somehow yeah, out of space. You can move into the middle. <laughs> Sounds fun. Um, what colour background should we do? Or should we? Ah, oh, while I'm talking about, let's get the hair dryer. I'm going to reach no, Can't <laughs> need a hair dryer. Oh, blimey. Where are you? My hands are. Oh, it's all tangled up. Two secs. Good chat. Okay. No, I thought I'm, I'm definitely going to need the hairdryer to dry it off. The paper I'm using is the Langton Not Finish. <laughs> oh, it's fine. 
sounds funny that don't it? it's not finished so ooh, <laughs> it's a not finished paper um as i say i've done more of a more of a sketch this time and at the end you can still use i haven't got a 2b pencil this is one of those um black wing pencils very strong color any I have a, where's the picture oh there, you go. there isn't much of a background on it is there no, looking at the um no not so much detail in the thing probably best to keep it plain i would have thought personally well, that's a red that's a red rag to a bow isn't it yeah <laughs> 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 me, i was doing my own thing anyway <laughs> yeah i know <laughs> anyway, I suppose the first thing to do is to make it wet. I've got a nice <coughs> brush. <Okay. laughs> Snap. <laughs> Funny that. I wonder where that comes from. She's really saying, bless myself, really. <laughs> I don't want to catch it. Just make it a bit damp. I've got a tray of um I've got a palette here with, I don't want to get the pencil wet because I'm pretty sure it'll smudge. All I've done is um, shaded in as many, all the dark areas on the coat that I could see. Just move that over there. I've got these paints in here, this palette in here. Maybe I could use a bit of that colour, couldn't I? Yeah. Don't know why. In my, I've got a, yeah, I've got a, a thing for. Oh, I don't know. I had a yellow in my mind. Yellow, and that's um, shadow colour there, but not strong. Just really. I'm conscious of using well mindful of using yellow because i've done it in the past and when you look when it comes back when you sort of look back at it it looks like a heavenly glow <laughs> you know so it, it looks out of this out of worldy <coughs> i don't know what yellow this is it's probably a lemony yellow I'm lost without Carol giving me directions on backgrounds. <laughs> it's difficult to judge, isn't it? Mm. I've got this little bit of shadow tone in the palette. Of, I don't know, I think it's shadow. It looks like a shadowy tone. So I'm trying to look at the sketch and see which side if there is any shadow and there isn't <laughs> as such it's because it's a that's why the background's white in the photo because someone's mm -hmm. photo photographed it straight into the light isn't it so well, that, that's my theory yeah. didn't sleep last night <laughs> you get those those days or those nights where you, your brain won't switch off yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm really really well it's because i'm doing this um started doing my well the the um full day center ask were chasing after me to well chasing asking after me to come back and do some music during the day so that meant i needed to buy a new gizmo and the gizmo came <laughs> it was a lot of money several quite a few hundred pounds and uh, it came yesterday morning and i i switched on and compared it to what something i already had and i thought i prefer what i already had so i was straight on the thing getting a returns slip mm. and chatting to the bloke on the phone trying to get a deal on something else and god blimey 
Mm -hmm. and I, it was late at night and I still couldn't switch it out, switch it off. Yeah. That at the church you're doing that then? Thing? All day centre. No, the one next door. Yeah. Oh, right, right. I've always done, oh, I've done that for years. Oh, right. Um, but with the the pandemic and that, it all went, the last place you wanted to be was a blooming care, set, care home. <laughs> <laughs> Well, mm -hmm. it was so they weren't looked after very well, were they? By all accounts, mm. I had to um, wait and get an agreement. You know, ten thousand a day. <laughs> Seems to be the um, going rate for external work these days. No, it used to pay really well. I don't know if they still do. Uh, I know the day centre. I used to do a few years ago now. I used to do um, craft with the residents yeah. one a week. And they all paid individually for the lesson, plus the basic charge from the um, day centre. They don't, they don't do, yeah, that was, it was government. It was council owned then. Oh, yeah, probably was, yeah. It's, it's private now. Uh, yeah, I used to get, I used to do really well. I used to get about, I mean, it, it was years ago, but I used to get about £10 per person, which oh. they used to pay. Very and good. plus I used to get £20 from the council for oh, running oh. the course. Oh, that was good then. Mm. I had to supply all the stuff, but that wasn't difficult. Yeah, yeah so, yeah, I mean, that was, oh, God, must be 20 years ago now. Mm. It was very good money. Yeah. I didn't really want to hear that, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> no, sorry. <laughs> I'm on a charity fund. <laughs> <laughs> I did get some. Pet I'd have got some petrol concessions out of them, which is what I was more concerned with. Yeah, yeah. but I suppose but, with you, you're not actually doing any one-to-one -one teaching, are you? No, no, this I still, was had, to, I still had to pay. I still bought um, public liability insurance, yeah, even though I th in the past I'm a class, I'm a down as a volunteer for the church, not got much to do with art, but there's not much going on at the moment. I'm just trying to dry this off, and so. You know, I always i i came under their their insurance scheme. You know, but this time I thought, well, I, I ought to do it on my own, and it wasn't too bad actually. Five million, so I'm, and I got it scheduled to start next Wednesday when I start. <laughs> I was quite chuffed with that. I was really pleased. Uh, you get a certificate saying that you got public liability insurance and i put it on my whatsapp and i was sending it off to my mate saying look i'm back on the road again <laughs> i'm <laughs> proper musician now let me dry this off On reflection, I think it would have been nice to do a very it's dainty an art word, <laughs> a dainty <laughs> light fluffy blue colour. Almost more water than colour. Hey ho. Oh, look, it's all lifting up now. Both are all coming off. Oh dear. That's a first. Never done that before. That's your kinky board. <laughs> You'd have thought the way that it was bent the board, but it was stuck really well. Mm. Like D -dar to a D -dar. Yeah. Hey ho. <laughs> well, the other bit seems you know the bottom. The bottom's dry at the moment. 
And what we want is a, I think of, trying to work out a routine. I keep saying this every time I do a portrait, try and work out a routine that um, works for like every portrait, but I've yet to achieve it. But the beauty is we do have these two colours unique. No one else is using it, only us. Well, probably only me, if true's known. And that is the, the dune or sand and the flesh tone from um, St. Petersburg. I don't think, I think I'm probably very few people in the country are using Russian paints now. <laughs> <laughs> so you get good bargains. Even though they're not made in Russia, they're made in Wareham. <laughs> mm -hmm. little, do they, little do they know. Yeah. Ignorance is bliss. So anyway, I'm just going to put a block in. Blocking in, I've mixed up a little bit of colour. I'm just using clean water. Chrissy's scared to do the hands. Mm -hmm. I don't blame you. He looks like he's in the dock. Oh, <laughs> he's hanging over the yeah little fence thing, isn't he? Mm. Yeah, he's leaning on something. I might have to cut it back because I couldn't see on the photo what was on the far left. So especially where the hands are. So I'm sort of having to, what do you call it? Make that up. I'm sticking with the watercolour theme. I'm not going to go mad. It's just a base tone. I suppose with being watercolour, we're fortunate in that we can put light washes on and still keep the pencil lines underneath well to a degree but pen but pencil will sort of run in water and i'm hoping it will because i want the um because <laughs> it's a not finished paper it's got the the sort of little bumps bumps and you know valleys and peaks on it of course when you try to do a sketch or shade in all you do is you shade over the tops of the bumps and leave the other bit so that was a fascinating thing just going to put a bit of flesh on the front here Trying to avoid the tips of the fingers. I think it's be a nice colour. A little bit of turquoise. Cobalt turquoise. I'm going to drop that in. To this as well. Just blocking in really. But the flesh with the cobalt turquoise gives you that nice... almost a grey tone isn't it it's that nice watercolory tone try and keep your brush clean you, know, you can drop it in and where it mixes where it blends you get that sort of almost a grey tone isn't it Well, I suppose the flesh is, a, is almost a weak, there's some there, burnt sienna. It's almost a weak burnt sienna, isn't it? But really diluted. So you could drop that into the blue. And as you know, you get loads of variations of greys. Just want to put some marks in. Distressed wood, isn't it? Sort of feel. As I'll start it off now. 
while I'm in the mood. All I'm doing really is avoiding this area, giving the bits I put just put flesh in time to just dry off while I cobalt blue, cobalt turquoise and burnt sienna whoosh gives you a nice grey tone. It's good to be back doing some painting again. <laughs> I must admit I've been really relaxed the last few well since last Tuesday. Life just keeps getting in the way, doesn't it? I watched a YouTube thing on a um, uh, coloured pencil. Yeah. Drawing. Um, and they were just doing a, a dog's eyes, and I thought, well, that'd be interesting. So I had a, I had a go at that. Um, yeah, it was quite, you know, it was two hours, and it was really in depth and it was just to draw one eye <laughs> oh. <laughs> but yeah yeah it came out all right i suppose we did an eye didn't we a human yes eye. yeah human eye we did mm. yeah yeah that was it. that was more stressful and it, okay it, i think it was an early lunch day but it was definitely more stressful than i admit, than i than i anticipated it being can i even see it that's I all that wet part around it. I um, I just I sprayed it earlier with um, fixative. Oh, yeah. I haven't dried yet, but um, good. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was quite good fun. But I'm really not into detailed work like that. <laughs> it was it was really testing my patience. I just wanted to do the whole dog. <laughs> <laughs> But when you look at some of their, you know, the fine pencil work, well, it's wonderful, isn't it? Mm. Sort of, yeah. I, I, I always, cause, yeah, it's, it's more of a health issue, isn't it? Everyone's different, though. Some people have that sort of need to put in serious amounts of detail in the picture i can, must admit i'll do it for a little you if ever i I'm, I'm aware that i do it i'll do it for a little while and then after a while i think this is bloody boring mm. and yeah. I, then i go i'm off you know mm. i can i'll get to a certain point where i think do you know what this ain't working this is, I'm not contributing any more to it than what's already there. So at that point, that's it, I'm off. <laughs> Let's get this done. I want to do the next picture sort of thing. But it's the fun is getting to that point, isn't it? <laughs> to me. Well, that's the, look at this. I'm trying to get a red and I'm getting a flesh. Mm, interesting. What's it look like? Get a bit of... oh. Try it on a different bit of paper. Because I use um, the Rose Madder or Alzerian Crimson, Alizarin Crimson. I always call it Alzerian. Is there a, there's probably a country called Alzeria. <laughs> um, Alizarin. Mm. Crimson, alizarin crimson. Well, best thing to do, I think, is to, is to um, start at the top and work my way down. I think I might need a smaller brush. Well, I've, I've blocked in his face, but I suppose in a way I've saved myself a little bit of... Um, time just conscious of a little bit of time by sketching it all in so that I can hopefully see what's what 
but even that co- it does cause pro- do you get it Chrissy in acrylics that um like now you're painting a red on the rose poppy but it's even it's a it's the same red but slightly different to the other red around it so if you paint that red now mm. that's going dis- to make the poppy look disappear so the only way of getting around that is what i tend to i'll let i'll let it dry a bit <laughs> and then maybe just touch the strength of the other one and then come back you know Mm. Just, just tease it. Just try and change it. Ooh, that's a bolder. Should have used a rigger. I'm using a small brush, but I'm... Well, I've done it. You see, I've put an extra smidgen of um red into that mix that i use for the poppy the idea being to differentiate it oh it's red in the middle hey uh, go on say it oh paint by numbers <laughs> always is isn't it in watercolor it's paint by numbers well but it actually added twist doesn't it because you've got a you got the issue of um, the water. I don't know why my hand's not as um, steady. I wouldn't like to be having an operation from me this morning. Normally, I'm sh- I'm like a surgeon. That day. No, I think the um, the way, in my mind's eye, the way to um, address the diff- the same shade but slightly different to make it stand out. What I was on about with the poppy is using shadow. So at some point later, if you put a shadow between the poppy and that bottom bit, then it will distinguish it, which is a good tip i reckon how far up that? it does do that mm. right get a wiggle on stop yapping and stop getting some paint on beer lad. it's only blocking in blocking in well you've got to do that that's all it is with watercolor isn't it well, I suppose it is with any painting, really. You start off, even in acrylics or oils, you start off, you block in your subject and your colour, and then finish it off by adding all your detail with a smaller brush. I know I haven't done it today, but invariably, with things like this, I'll paint it yellow first, and then put the red on top so that it blends. See, just for out of curiosity, I'll do it on here. Here's clean water on the other side of his collar. Well, no real paint on it. Snick a little bit of yellow. <laughs> it's not very yellow, that yellow. It's a sort of a blend between that three different yellows, I think. Drop in the yellow onto the damp paper. Clean the brush off. Make a little smidgen of that red and drop the red onto the yellow. I, I prefer doing it this way. I was just concerned that I didn't have the right yellow. And that's bled into his chin a bit. Green tissue. Yes. 
I don't know why it did that. I thought it was dry. You know what thought did? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Just dab it off for now. But you can list it. I just wanted to see that, show that there is, you will get a, a different effect. I actually prefer that. You get a sort of more, well, it is more interesting to me. So what I'm going to do is just put a thin dot of water on there, smidgen of yellow, repeat the process, smidgen, <coughs> and then drop in a little bit of that other red onto it. Let the water do the work. Lovely. Always oh, so looks a bit. It's going to look a bit. Ooh, yeah. come from? It's going to look a bit wonky until <laughs> the um, the dark is. See, paint in the dark. Clean water. I'm going to repeat that process all over the place. So I'm going to go a bit faster now, so that you can take a bit more time. Clean water there. It's the first time I've done this with a pencil to this extent. What's that there? Oh, it's a hand. <laughs> you had a red hand there. Ooh. Well, if I do those two, maybe I'll... Yeah, I'll just stick with that. Smidgen of yellow. Try not to stick your hand in else well that line down Oops, it's a bit more yellow obviously gonna have to dry this off before attempting to put any background in braces are they these things hmm. no, I don't think so or is it part of the tunic just part of the tunic I think Mm. Awesome, isn't it? Well, my son doesn't watch these videos. I'll be very surprised if he does. If he does, he does it in secret. <laughs> but he's he's walking around this morning. A parcel came. I don't, a lot of people wouldn't be familiar with it. But there's a cartoon American series called South Park. I don't know anything more about it. It's, it's quite a radical. Some of it's quite rude, actually. It's mm. been out for quite a few years. South Park. And I noticed he's, he's bought a, a sort of tracksuit based on the colours and branding of South Park. <laughs> um, I was at the top of the stairs and this vision walked past. It's like... <laughs> Joseph's multicolored swap shop gone mad, you know. Dream coat. Oh my gosh. I did say to Mel, I went down and I said, Did you just see what I just saw? <laughs> <laughs> I noticed James shut his door as though he was embarrassed. Well, I thought it looked rather good. I said, Is Father is Father's Day already been and gone? <laughs> <laughs> oh my well, am. I don't know. I think it, that's not the sort of thing you'd wear up the pub, I don't think. <laughs> well, not unless you want to. I'm not that prone on, not that, I don't mind being radical, but well, that was bright. I was going to try and sneak a photo, so watch this space when he's not looking maybe I'm just using clean water on these on the same process of that I did earlier clean water dropping the yellow 
I'll put it down there and you can see it on the film. Put it here. I don't know why I'm cuddling this brush. <laughs> It's the same thing. I have got a secret, or a, a not secret, it won't be a secret because I'm going to share it in a minute. Um, that's what they do in the newspapers, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So and so, secret hideaway. And you think, well, it ain't a bloody secret now because you just published it. <laughs> Everyone knows. So bang goes the secret. Um, no, what's the problem? Oh, I know. Yeah, secret. Finishing off paint later. I've just made it wet. And I'm just, or damp with clean water, I'm dropping in the coat of arms, whatever it's called. You already do. Crown, crown, you bunker. All right, and then they get violent. Dave, are you talking to yourself again? Yeah, I love it. Could have a gold crown, couldn't I? Just leave it like that sort of thing. Now, get some red. Stick with the master plan. Well, it will be golder because my paint's not going to be very strong. It's all going to fade back anyway. And then when I paint the I've got a plan for the dark areas. Gordon will be proud when he sees it. That's my boy. I can hear him doing it. It's that indigo coming. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know me so well. Well, I'm stalling because I'm thinking, well, <clears throat> what? I said, I want pure indigo, but I was thinking of a sort of a, a velvety, sheen a sort of a dark sheen to it like you do with velvet mm. oh, and i was thinking well the how would i achieve that come on carol i don't know i was just going to ask you <laughs> how would i achieve it i'm just dropping in bits of red on this now um and let the water do some of the work it's quite therapeutic this actually because you don't you know <laughs> can't think about much else while you're doing it and but it's fascinating to see the results and as you twist your head in the light from one I just move my head to the left and it you see a different <laughs> sort of picture to the other and one that's drying off I'll put a bit of It's the edges, isn't it? They have a little bit more colour. On these um on these red bands. Yep. Ooh, we're gonna run out of time at this rate. <gasps> Let's stick it in on there. Make one of those um mile sticks, don't I? Mm -hmm. You got one, Chris? Yep. Often, yeah. Often I don't, yeah. I don't use it. I used to use it when I was using them, um, doing soft yeah. pastels. Yeah, yeah. Because you really had to touch it and right. it was smudged. <laughs> I must get a bit of move on here. This was supposed to be clean water, but like all good brushes, it doesn't know when it's supposed to be clean and not er i suppose i could have changed it to a g <laughs> <laughs> and topical wouldn't it it's first stamps come out isn't it or it's back to with mm. the king's reversed head on it mm. charlie is me darling it's boring well, the same routine all the way through. 
that oil spill in Pearl Harbor was a bit mm. nasty. It's been on the news, isn't it? Yeah. I wonder if the seals were hurt. It's quite a few yeah. seals. Well, it's what they call reservoir fluid, isn't it? Mm. If you look it up, what it, they're saying it's oil, but reservoir fluid is a combination. And the, yeah. the biggest, the biggest element of it is supposed is pe petroleum. Yeah. Mm. So even even the press reporting that isn't telling the truth. Because well, you only had to look at the the photos, and you could see all the rainbows <laughs> that's oil yeah. yeah but petrol does the same or diesel yes yeah if it's a diesel based oil sort of oil my big sister used to tell me they were dead rainbows oh. <laughs> she was horrible to me <laughs> she used to come across this pretty puddle and she used to say it's a dead rainbow <laughs> This is Curtis. Yes, exactly. Oh, look, I've gone over there. Oh, you naughty boy. I got carried away with the letter with the E. Am I bothered? Well, not really. <laughs> but it's still damp, isn't it? So. Hey, well done, Dave. We're blocked in. Totally. Well, one thing I do advocate is don't, especially with the watercolours anyway, don't um, scrub over the the area that you've done. Let it settle. By that I mean if you've got a big area or a larger space, try not to disturb it too much, let it do its thing. You're not painting a, the ceiling. <laughs> my, Michelangelo came to mind when I mentioned that. Do <laughs> you see that in America? The, the school principal got a sack for showing doing an art lesson based on Michelangelo's statue of the, the sort of nude doodle, nude bloke from what, hundreds and thousands of years ago and showed him, the, you know, the, mm. not the thinker, the other one, there's a couple of them, aren't there? And they, she got the sack, had to resign for, show, for showing kids, introducing them to um, sexist doodah, what's it? What? This is what we've got to put up with. Yeah, it's pathetic, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. You take away all the, the school books as well. well. There's so many things that they, they're not letting children see now, and yet it's mm. all part of history. It's like slavery and everything, it's all part of history. Mm. There has to be yeah. a. It, I, I appreciate. I it's, you know, obviously, it's it's you know, it's not good. It's got to stop, but we still need to be taught about it. Otherwise, you have no understanding of why they. You know. Yeah, I've got to agree with you. Yeah, it's. I don't, I don't know. I'm not explaining. Well, it very, I know the way I mean. things are going, it'll just be us oldens that remember these things yeah, yeah and we'll be on the news in 30 years time 20 years time saying what was it like when um <laughs> they had the <laughs> you just don't know where it's where to go with that stuff right i'm going to dry this off before you i was just going to say before you stop with your red there's a little bit of red on the top of his hat yeah thanks mate that was one of the bits that I uh, <laughs> discovered. I can see you've left it lighter. Yeah. So you knew it was there. Well, I rubbed that bit of pencil. There's so many bits in there. It's okay for you, 
you acrylics people, you can just put a, put a bit of underpaint on it and go over the top. Mm -hmm. Ish. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Watching this, it's all backwards to me. Mm. I do wish I could remember who he reminds me of. We're a bit rusty. Right. This is all Gordon's doing. He says he told me to do this. I've got a tube of indigo. This is the um, professional quality. Shinan Pass. Ooh. From Japan. Mm -hmm. And what I'm going to do... Oh, it's coming out. It's... It's, it's, ooh, there's plenty of it. <laughs> it's, um, it's not watercolour. It's not gouache. It's a mix of the two. I think what I'll do is I'll just have a quick test on this bit of spare paper. I'm not going to get it spot on. Ooh. Do I leave it or do I not? It's got a sort of purpley. It's not black. It's not blue. It's sort of a purpley colour. So, well, time is the essence, but I'm going to just go for it. But whether I'm doing the right thing or not, time will tell. So. But I, th I thought it had been whatever was going to happen because there's so much of it. It's it's it would be nice to use a single color, you know, a single blend, single mix, call it what you like. Mm -hmm. um, so you, there's no. A man asks his wife what Ooh. she was doing. Sorry. Right. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what? Are you listening to a story? <laughs> no, I was just looking at something my um, son-in-law put up about puppy pads for, for rain. <laughs> so clean. Oh, I'm recording. <laughs> yeah, it's all clean. And that was another video. video kind of <laughs> what that was. <laughs> wow. Oh, dear. You, you do, sometimes when I do... Um, I go on somebody some of these webinars. They do get gate crashed, mm. but, and invariably, it's I can't see the point of it myself. But they're always pouring, you know. You think, good thing, what? What's all that? Where'd that come from? This brush has got a nice point on it, so I'm hoping I can. Just go over. Be interesting to see what it looks like. How it, um, the figure, what effect it it makes on the rest of it. Juxtaposition, isn't it? You know, one color on um, brings out other colors and all that sort of stuff. I. I think the main point is to get as much, get enough paint mixed up so that you can, whether I have or not, or time will tell, mixed up so that you can keep going, you know, do the whole, the whole thing in one go. Which hence the reason I've got a light on there, I can't. So we'll see what's happening. Okay. 
said you could take two and then you could do... You know, when you get a reflection, you can't... You could, you're painting the... Ref, you're painting the reflection and you can't actually... You're not 100% sure if you're actually painting where you're supposed to be painting. You can't see the, the actual colour. Right, we're off now. Are we? I have sat down in this actually, so I haven't got a <gasps> go back home. Oh. What, what I try to, whether I try to just put in the the hard bits first, the detail, and then I'll show you to paint me up to the edges, then you can block in the, the rest. I don't know why. My hand isn't. Maybe I'll. I haven't been playing the guitar a lot. Maybe that's taken my. Strength. My steadiness out of my hand. But you get the drift. I'm just going to do as many of the hard bits as I can, then I can go whoosh in the middle bit. Like that. I'm, I'm hoping that it will um, dry uneven. Well, I'm, it will anyway, but so that. It'll show up, it'll look like there are folds in his jacket. Tunic, whatever you call it. Has anybody bought any of these Japanese paints? No. Gouache, it is. It's a it's not it's a gouache watercolour mix blend. They do do straight watercolours as well, these PAS people. From Japan. Yeah, it's in now. Uh, have bought is um, it's a, a, like a multi-size jar opener thing because my tubes of paint are very hard to open, especially since I broke my wrist. Wow, well, it's well, really good. Yeah. yeah, it's really good. Yeah, it's all sizes. I've got one of. Th I've got a few. I've got the one. that's like a a rubber. A strip of rubber that you bend round and it clips back back in on the holder and then you pull that. That's, so. They're quite good. This is when it's got all different sizes. Melanie's got an electric one. It's absolutely phenomenal. Yeah. Put it on and, and the, the little things go about the thing. <laughs> it waits a few seconds and it starts twisting. You, oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sort of running out of kitchen. It's gonna blow up. <laughs> it's gonna explode. <laughs> yeah, it does work though. I was quite impressed. I'm just I think uh, going through my paints, loosening all the tops of them while I'm watching this. You used to do it at the church by, or George, I used to say you shouldn't do that. He used to st um, put it in the jam of the door, you know. With oh, the... yes. <laughs> yeah, mark all the paint <laughs> if you're not careful. Yeah, in the edge of the door. I, I want to keep them. I said, well, why don't you just boil the kettle? <coughs> do that. <coughs> It melts the the heat melts it and or loosens the paint and it just comes off. It didn't work for me. I think. Oh. If you yeah, I, I, you have to use pliers as well, don't you? Sort of combination. Well, yeah, yeah. 
I might it might work with the with this twister thing. Yeah. Uh, some tubes I can't open, but I know that's just me because I haven't got any strength. There are a few different ones around, I know. I need to, I use them a lot for um, in the astronomy because sometimes you put filters and optical things together, they screw together and you can't flip him. They won't undo and you can't grip anywhere to get them undone. Oh dear, this is the fun bit, Chrissy. Fun bit. <laughs> Not only fun, but fun. But a bit more clean water, I think. I would say this is the the way of. Doing it. The bit I was going to watch was the bit in front of his hand, the cuff. I've deliberately put a um, pencil line there. So I want it to, I want to do something there. Fizzle, a fizzle, <laughs> in clean water. Did you mix another colour in with that? Sorry, no, I, I did it. No, just so straight. Crazy. I did that test on that well, bit of paper, yeah. which is still a bit dry, uh, damp, dry, still a bit. Dry. <clears throat> Um, just to see what, what will happen. And decided hmm, it's not too bad. But watercolour indigo would do a similar job. You've got it in the um, yeah. St. Petersburg. <laughs> just mix up a lot of it or just get an, a load of it nice and wet. Right. Try and find a finger here. Oh, that's getting posh. Mm. Very good. Sorry I've left you, everybody. <laughs> we could hear what you were saying in the oh, background. Yeah. Oh, no. And it's on <laughs> and it's on record. Oh, no. oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, dear. So your, bank, your bank details will be out on YouTube later. <laughs> you. Well, you'll have to delete that bit. Yeah. Talking of which, um, James uh, changed his our internet provider. Is that right? Yeah. Um, a couple of Tuesdays ago, and um, somebody told us, "Mel, I said to you last Tuesday that we didn't have a card." We couldn't pay for anything by card because mm. they stopped Mel's card. And she thought it was, they said it was X, Y, Z and all the rest of it. Then on this week, I think it was yeah, early Monday, I tried to buy something using my card. And it appeared to go free, but when I checked, it, it, the transactions were all being failed. So I so, in the end, long story, I, I I rang the bank up and said, here, what's not going on here? I keep trying to buy things online and it sort of goes through and then says, whoops, a daisy and all this sort of thing. It's failing. And I was a bit worried at that point. It was, crikey, I'm buying the same thing three times. <laughs> when it's 500 quid and you ain't got that much in the thing, you think, what? Help. So, but no, the lady was, they put me eventually free to the fraud squad, the help desk. And um, it was because the, we changed our internet provider. 
So it was obviously picking up at the bank that it was different IP addresses and all that sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, so my card failed as well, obviously. And uh, the lady, you could hear her clicking away on the keyboard in the background. And she came back and fixed it, you know, should be all right now, sir. Oh, wow. <laughs> So, yeah, that was a bit of a heads up, really. It wasn't anything that we'd done. It was just the, the card, the uh, internet the card. I thought, well, it's happened to Mel, and they were saying, oh, it's because of you had two transactions online going out to the Royal Mail. And I thought, what's unusual about that? You post something on a Tuesday and then you post something on a Wednesday yeah. to get different. And they stopped it for that. And I, I thought, mm, once that happened to me, I thought, yeah, well, that's what it is. It's not the. Yeah. It's because the internet changed. Obviously, they wouldn't know it would, it would flag up, wouldn't it, as a spurious internet connection. Anyway, I'm sorted now. I know, because I'm skint. Okay. Oh, no, I'm not. I sent it back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, get a range collection. Yeah. I'm painting upside down now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> With a flipping thick brush as well. Um, the beauty of using a paint... Um, you know, a ready mixed or a single colour is obviously it takes the pressure off you to um, find another mix of that colour when you if you run out. So that's why I'm so chuffed that it's working with the single colour. I learned. Um, that a little bit um i'm just checking no it's the other side i'm painting upside down so i'm looking at the picture off of um an, the artist roger dean i've mentioned him a couple of times over the over the years he's the guy that he paints um the yes logo you remember the band yes yeah and the, yeah. and the album covers and that he did all those very sort of progressive spacey type artists and if you watch him paint he does it online especially during the pandemic and that he does it well he uses acrylic a lot of the time but he does um use watercolors and it's saint petersburg smaller saint petersburg ones like we do yeah. and um he, he uses little plastic pots, especially in the crate, and he, he mixes paint in the pots, you know, and he'll have a little plastic pot of just one colour mm. and sort of paints a whole vast area with that one colour. And he's a master, you know, big time famous artist. It's good to watch those people. You can pick up good tips and tricks, can't you? Right. I had to turn it upside down because I was going to stick my hand in everything. I'm getting there. Sorry if it's boring. It's difficult to make, make this sort of Big time flam flamboyant painting. Get me bigger on this later. If you've got one of these um, smaller mop brushes with the point on, I'd recommend using it. Well, they hold a lot of paints, that's the thing. 
you can keep going, but they they've got this really fine point on them. I'm assuming that's black in there. I don't know. <laughs> Ah, oh, that's not that, uh, my finger. You know, I'm not going to swear, but I'm thinking it. <laughs> oh, that is, I got all that way, didn't I? All that way. And I was just saying I'm painting upside down because I don't make a mess. <laughs> Whoa! Careful what you wish for. I don't mind. It will dry off. There you go, nearly there. That's the downside of these permanent rows and how zero and crimson cut them. Oh, it's all over my hands, that's why. Is if you do make a, a faux pas, you only just touch the paper and it stains. <clears throat> it just seeps, seeps straight into the paper. Well, yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. I'm I'm looking at the reference picture of for Forbidden Angels. Uh, might be a bit of tightening up to do at some point. Let's just get on and do a few bits. Has dried back quite interesting with some lines. Not as many as I wanted. There's definitely some one there. I think if we just it's the shoulders and <coughs> the shoulder area. But a dark line of colour on it should dry back, soften, look like a crease. Hmm. Not bad, not bad. How much of this there I use? Oh, I went over there as well. No one told me. Just want to put a few. lines here and there and a thin line yeah how does indigo wash out i ask myself how staining is indigo mega i would have thought you would think it was so just want to lift that on <laughs> I'm lift that off. But then again, I'm going to crop that side, I think. Well, yeah, it's just come off, isn't it? A little scrub. Beauty of these handy, handy flat tissues, isn't it? You get a nice straight edge on the tissue and you can just sort of smidge it off. Mm, well done. Well done, baby. Lovely job, yeah. A few bits um, over the, this is one of those funnies, isn't it? Over the next few days, as it dries, there'll be areas where, that you want to lift out. I can find a, another one of those black tissues. I can't remember. That was a big sigh then. But there's a there's a line you can do it with clean water and a thin brush. When it's when it's dry, you, you can just put a line of clean water on and then put your tissue on and it'll lift up like that and you just get a fine little fine line that shows where the creases are. Straight, you won't be able to do it until it's dried off. But I'll just sort of mention it. Put a few shadowy bits here and there on the buttons. And 
here we go. Back to the other palette for a minute. Still got my flesh tone floating around here. What do you think? How pink? I'm going to put a darker strip at the top of his lips, clean water, and let the, touch the bottom of it and let it mm, too much water. Never mind. Don't go there again for a little while. Still clear of that area. I want it really faint. It's the same fleshy tone, but I want it weak. I want it strong. And just sort of build up a few areas. My favourite, favourite spot, it's always the nose. I thought I've noticed a lot lately, a lot of people have been doing portraits, don't have eyebrows. Well, if they do, I haven't seen them. Well, I'm just using, I'm following my pencil marks because they were the <coughs> I just penciled in where the shadows were. Well, where I perceived darker areas of his light face were. Just thought it. I'd give it a go to see if it made it easier to <laughs> do a portrait, <laughs> you know, to, 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 to tackle. Yeah, it's okay. Shame about that. How do we do that? What do we do with it? How do we deal with it? Um, we get some of that shadow tone, I think. No, it's not going to work. Should have dried enough, shouldn't it? With a clean water and a flying brush. See if I can just tease it off a little bit. Yeah, I'll probably have to wait till it's bone dry, a lot drier, and then it will. Just snip away. The other, maybe. And a little bit of colour I put up here, which was sort of a shadowy tone. Just drop it in. Some bit there. Good old Terry Harrison. And his shadows. Saves the day so often. I want that bit of indigo to spread down. And there's this little bit of tone over this side. More water. Yes, 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 I'm going to add some tone over here because that, in my picture, is just a hint of his other ear. Come in. Everyone sees it different, don't they? The, the, um, the eyes have it. The eyes have it. Hold up. <laughs> and there's in a day. Jeez. Definitely in the wrong job. But then I don't have access to Boris, do I? <laughs> a bit of turquoise blue 
and the shadow. Whoa, see, my hand's not steady this morning. Told you I didn't sleep well last night. <laughs> Lovely. I like that colour. I used it right at the start as well. Turquoise blue and a little bit of that shadow. Nice tone, that is. And just put it in. One of the things. Nice colour. I like it. Not when I wanted it, is it? When I wanted it was more over there. Show up his ear. Little tab of that. And the um, edge of his ear. As I was saying, that's a sort of shadowy thing. Hmm. Getting this to, I, taking that week off. It's, Made it hard to get back in the swing of it. <laughs> mm. Maybe. She's using the rigor. Once you get the rigor, you just got to keep going. But that was that blue with a little bit of. Terry sh um, shadow color. What's <coughs> in there? Oh, What's more of that? Yeah, the hands, same, same, same thing. Add a little bit of. I was looking at the sketch yesterday, and I was trying to work out which side of the finger has got the shadow because that that didn't that shows up what, where the finger is mm -hmm. and uh, oh God, I still can't make up my mind Look, Chrissy says if you're not happy chop them off <laughs> them things. but there's definitely shadow underneath Let's get some more of it. It's in the other part. A bit of this shadow and a little bit of that tur cobalt turquoise. Gives it a nice, softer feel. Oops. Oh, I might control this brush today. But you can add a little bit of shadow right into where those are. Blech. We get a bit damp now, no? Oh well. I don't doubt. Just go the other side. Have a look at the fingers and think which side has got the shadow on. Just going to add a little bit. Brilliant colour, isn't it? Can add flesh to it and that gives it a an off a dark a shadowy a shadow flesh color i have to say i'm rushing there but and where they meet the top Paintings on the on the wall. And what it was blah, 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 blah. <laughs> what what I was on about earlier was um this area in here. I think I don't need a big brush for this. Just water and clean water around that area. I don't know if this is going to work or not. It's going to be a blend of all the colours that I've been using up to now. A bit of the yellow. 
it's going to go there and into the where the finger is stop there bit of the red a bit more on that tidy that up then drop some of the indigo on top of that. What I'm trying to give the impression of is that it is part of the, without looking at it directly, I can't be sure if it's the lining of the inside of the arm of the coat. <laughs> That's what I was trying to achieve. It will work because I'll make the hand a little bit more fleshy at some point. And this is dry here. Hmm. Don't do what I say. Do as I do. And just tighten up, man. Some of the areas. This is going to take ages to do that. There's bits here I need to lift out, add more on, all kinds of things. Just not enough hours in the in the day. Am I off for time? It's quarter past twelve. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Yeah. I'm going yeah, to. Uh, Twenty minutes. All right, I'm just going to tighten up a few bits, and and we'll call it a break. I hope you. I think I've. You'll be suitable and inspired now. <laughs> After last week, <laughs> one of the things I was um, going to do, maybe it's a bit early now in the painting process, but I'm going to put a little bit of grey there and a hint of grey there. One of the things I wanted to get you to spend your money on. <laughs> Come on. No. Seriously. Oh, missus. Was um this stuff. What's that? Yeah? Yeah, what is it? <laughs> it's um acrylic white ink. Oh. And it oh don't be careful with this. But you come you can get little pipettes, yeah. You don't want that. You can take that out. Just put the bottle there. It's a an alternative to um, using white or gouache. Yeah. And the reason I um, it was places like that, you know, where there's little fine bits of hair. I deliberately made it darker than it actually should be but if you've got a fine rigger mm. you can utilize you can get quite a nice well, I've got quite a lot of paint on there now, but you can get some really nice fine hairlines so if you wanted to like put a little bit of hair up there yeah mm. Mm. being acrylic it's what's in the acrylic pens isn't it but that might be better because I often just get the pen and I, you know, I smash a bit out. <laughs> well, you know what I mean? I dab I a bit out and I use my brush. <laughs> yeah, mm. but I just thought I'd show, before we go, I just wanted to point yeah. out that it was available. And it does, um, being acrylic, it will dry really well. <laughs> With these, eye, these, these areas here, and if you're brave, like I am, not like what I am, you can put a little spot of it put in the eyes to highlight a few bits. I've actually got a box 
full of them. And I used to use a lot. Use I do a lot of paintings using acrylic inks. I actually I, I have sold a lot of paintings. The one thing you have to remember though is make sure you wash your brush out because mm -hmm. if it dries, it does dry. It's not like um, the heavier body acrylics in the tubes. It, it is slightly it will hydrate slightly a little bit so you will which, get which one have you got Dave? Huh? which which um brand have FW, you got fw fw taylor rainey yeah fw taylor rainey one so I've, it's the only one i've ever they were the ones that started it off i think i can't remember yeah, a lot of people say Liquitex is good. But... Yeah, I've, I've, I used to use Liquitex heavy body um, acrylics because they were, every, like you say, they were all saying, well, I use, I use this. That's right, when, I, yeah. when I started using it, I thought, well, I don't know what they're bloody talking about. Well, no, I don't think it's that much different. No, <laughs> so, <laughs> so I sort of gave that idea a miss. Went back to using Galleria or, like you say, the um, the the De Rainey normal ones. Yeah. But if if anything, out of today, really, what I've been doodling and why we've been playing, the um, you know, mixing up enough paint to. Do the book, the background was an interesting, was important. I don't know where I am there. Yeah, I have. I've missed that bit there. Right? Well, he's going to have black there. I think, like I say, it's a, it's quite a powerful subject to to do in such a short period of time. So I'm quite yeah. pleased, really. How much I've done, but uh, haven't used up a lot of a lot of colours, and these two right from the start using the sand and the and the flesh from um, Saint Petersburg. Awesome! <coughs> you can get lots of different tones, and when it dries. Like, it, there'll be times when it dries, you think, ah, uh, like his face, you think, oh, it's not pinky enough. But when it dries, you can just mix up a very thin wash of rose madder and raw sienna or a, a light yellow that you've got. You mix it up really loose, lots of water, and you, you can just drop it on. When it's dry, you can drop them in, look for where they are, the, the, the ready bits. Ready, is he? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, he's talking as well. Well, yeah, I can hear him. Yeah. All oh, right. Sorry, well, you can hear him. Yeah. Well, and just drop it in. No, when no. it's dry, though, you have to, that's what I say. It's really difficult to do these in such a short period. But as it dries... And it's bone dry you can just drop in because very often you'll find um skins or the skin tone you look at it the next day you think oh it's not it's more pinky or it's more red you know and i think that's the time to do it let it dry and you can just put a loose wash back on there he is it's almost there isn't he i think i've Bit more work well quite a bit more work to do oh. just tightening up really a few areas okay. and tidying up where it's spread and got stuck with fingers there's an area i mean that acrylic ink there's an area on his it is sort of, it's not totally solid 
Well, it's easier to, you know, no, you wing back his fingernails or whatever you want. Good stuff. I used to use it to paint um, long, thin, imaginary seascapes that I sold on eBay. That sometimes it'd be like five a week. Very good. I spent more time up the at the post office than the postman did. <laughs> post lady, I would go up there and she'd say, "Hi, Dave, cup of tea." <laughs> sit there on <laughs> on the counter having a cup of tea and a gin wag with the post lady because I was she, I was in there so much. She knew, you know. <laughs> yeah. It was, well, that's how it should be, isn't it? Mm. Um, the other thing I was going to say about this is I, when you've finished, or you think you've finished, and you get to a certain stage, um, like tomorrow or whatever, there's no reason, if you want some of the shadow areas, use your pencil again. You can just mm. beef it up, just lightly... Like you say, or just there by the ears, you can use a pencil, and it'll just it it won't make it worse. It'll enhance it. It's best to do it when it's dried off. And you're sort of doing a sort of a combination, really, isn't it? Of um, doing the watercolor and something else. I haven't actually looked at the scale. Oh my gosh, it is. It's quite nice, but I think there's a little bit more work on the face when it dries. Um, perhaps put a bit more. But there's no reason why you can't. If you use a two B pencil, nice and soft, you know, nice and light, you can just add a few extra details. to some some darker bits in the eyes, but. And just tease them out. Mm. I do this by almost by freehand. I had the grid, but because the paper was <laughs> slightly warped, it was a bit difficult to, <laughs> to do. But it is one of those paintings that's going to ignore, uh, annoy the heck out of me for the rest of the week because I'll be seeing um, little lines where like there where I want it to butt up you know just tighten it up and there's a bit there where the background hasn't gone in enough but that's mm -hmm. okay I know what colours it was I've got them on here wasn't it it was the the yellow and a little bit of the blue no the shadow so I can use those mm -hmm. Just to add a bit. So acrylic white, Andy. It's a handy colour to use. Did you buy it online or did you get it in the shop? Yeah, you can buy it online. It ain't cheap. No, they... I just looked and the, the postage was three ninety nine. Which I How much? I just looked on them. Um, I just googled, and it was five ninety nine and three ninety nine postage. I thought, no, yeah. not paying that. <laughs> you might be cheaper getting, um, it might be easier just to go in, just to go into Hobbycraft or somewhere yeah. like that. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah. I know years ago I used to go to bookends in Christchurch and buy it. You know, they have like racks of all different colours. Hang on. Well, I usually get it on Amazon because I've got, well, you know, I've got the next day free delivery, but they haven't got it on Amazon. Oh, uh, yeah. So. That's how many I've got. Mm. I, buy them, I used to go in there and buy them as I need a different colour. But the colours they've got, um, I used to use a lot of, believe it or not, is flesh. 
<laughs> well, that would be good for the seascape ones. <laughs> it's so big, you won't, you can't put it on, on top of the sea. I used to use, um, I used to use them a lot to do these things. It's like, no, colour. Yeah, you should do the, that's a full width piece of paper, sort of two, four inches. So do loads of them. And then you can blend the sky really amazing. There's that one. These, these are the only two that I've got left. I didn't keep, I didn't try to sell them because of, I didn't think they were good enough, but I get these wonderful sky techniques with them. And they're synonymous. So I always used to put the two figures over the beach with a shadow with the white lines on, you know, reflection. So I'm given evocative names like um, knocking on heaven's door and. Yeah. <laughs> Stuff, stuff, stuff like that. They're great fun to do, and I could knock them out. Well, once I got rid of it, I could get get it on oh, small camera. I could do them quite quickly. Mm. Talking about work. your acrylic inks, I've just found the <laughs> All my. I've got five, but not white. <laughs> Yeah, that's, uh, that is, the, I used to, yeah, I can understand that. Yeah, I've got blue, green, four C in it. Yeah. But I haven't used them for years. I'm just, just looking at the pot, you know, on, on the. Um, Mine's the same, I'm green. the same. And I thought, oh, I've got some of those, but not white. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> but the, the white is quite, quite, a, quite a nice colour. Yeah, yeah, quite a handy one. The thing about it is, though, it, you have to be a bit cautious because when it dries, it does dry. Um, you know it's there, sort of thing. If you did, yeah. if you did, if you had an ordinary, it forms like a little crust, little. Sh it it dries hard. Yeah, you can sometimes if you catch the light, you can say, Oh, that's a cool looking. I can see that there. It's got like a little shine to it. It doesn't matter if you varnish your pictures or spray them, mm. which I which I which I plan to do. I bought the spray 20, 30 quid, wasn't it? Gosh. Yeah, special spray. Yeah, got it here. Look, Lasco, Las, Lasco UV Protect One. This is a gloss one. It's one of those rattle cans, and you can spray it on a watercolor and then frame it. You don't need glass or anything. No, I've got the um, Winter Newton one. And I think I think the can was twenty odd. It's 20 odd quid, and like you say, time to pay the delivery. All of a sudden, you think, Oh, <laughs> that's mm. an expensive gas. Probably why I haven't used it because I'm thinking, <laughs> Dear, I don't want to mess it up. Yeah. Truth be known, I'm waiting for a, a warmer day, and I'll do it out in the shed because mm. I don't want the that would be really strong. Mm. So far, you're not. You can only that you can only get it delivered by road or transport by road. They won't let they won't no. they don't like it going on going on in air or anything like that. Oh no, it's pressurized. <laughs> well, I think it's the chemical. It's um it's proper flammable. Mm. Can imagine. Don't know how they get it here. Right, I'm going to have to go. I think. Thank you. Yes. That was a good so morning's work there. That yes. I think that picture ain't yeah. too bad, actually. Yeah.
really good. Yeah. 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 I think it's a Very bit good. doing um, I'm doing the wrong thing here. It's a bit much. I didn't really know it's as complicated as that. Well, anyway, okay. see you all next week. Yeah. Yes, yeah. okay then. Yeah. Good again. Take care. Okay. Take Bye. Care. Bye. 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 <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's late. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Yeah. I think there's a lot. There's a lot to do there. Can okay. You... Thanks, Dave. I'll disappear as well. Bye then. Bye. Bye. Bye, um. bye, Joyce. Can you just stick it up on the screen before you go, Dave? Let me just see the last one. Yeah. Hang on. Please. Sorry, I was late. There's no, so that's fine. I've got. I keep. Oh, keep hitting the wrong button. Hang on. Okay. Oh, I can see him down the bottom. No, that's, that's not it. No, that's one of yours, is it? <coughs> oh, this is your demo. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah, brilliant. It's a lot. It's, it's a lot to. Oops. Okay. It's a lot to do in one, one yeah. in such a short yeah. time. Yeah. It's one of those um, you do. Um, oh, Mother Kelly's door.
Kelly's door.